well you can uh, you can hear what it's like hopefully it's about 25-30 uh, mile an hour wind so we'll have to try and get in the, the back of some beer somewhere to try and uh, to get a few fish it's uh, pretty windy well good morning it's the 8th of March um, it's cold I don't know if you can pick that up in the background but there's uh, snow on the hills in the distance um, it's been about 2 degrees this morning and the wind's picking up it's forecast for 30 mile an hour so what I've done I've come um, on to the Dunny Dea Lake at Chatton to try and get out the wind it's absolutely freezing on the hands so I'm going to start um, with a method hopefully could catch on it's uh, a small apt worm on the point and two wicked white buzzers on the droppers on a 15 foot leader and the flies are five foot apart so we'll we'll see how we get on so like I said we've got the floating line on um, two buzzers in a four-legged apps on the point cast across the breeze and we'll just let it swing around into this beer just keeping in touch with it basically and we'll, we'll see if we can get any takes so we've got the option of the the blood worm on the point which will go deep down and then you've got your buzzers with two different depths as you cut across the beer and I'll just every now and again just give it a kick or a slow draw to pull the flies up in the water column that wind's getting really bad there now virtually fishing the flies static I think you see just moving them every now and again just to get a different different height in the water column and then let them sink both buzzers and apps worms fish really well on the drop so these are the flies I've, I've got on I've got the uh, wicked white buzzer on the top dropper and on the middle dropper and on the point I've got an apps worm and I'm just on the floating line and just letting them drift across the breeze Because it took the buzzer, has it took the apps? It hasn't took the top buzzer, so it took it there uh, just coming up the slope as well. Oh, the bonny little fish, it took the, took the buzzer. And it's snout. There you go. There's the, the hook to come out. Wicked white. Good start.
Oh, you're soon. It's not getting any warmer. That wind is bitter. Oh, there's one. Could take that one. Not sure what it took, obviously. Warms you up when you get a take. There's a the wind screaming again. As it took a drop up or on the point. Oh, I think it's took the middle dropper again. Yeah, it's took a definitely took the buzzer. It's got me uh apps worm tangled up. There you go. So we could wait again. Bonnie fish. Very welcome. Go on, sir. Anyway. Good take that. It was just under the surface as well. Yeah, it wasn't deep down at all that. It'd only been sinking for a few seconds. Which ones it took? It took a top buzzer this time. Size 14, we can wait. Well, that's uh, three to the buzzers. Uh, none on the apps yet, which I'm uh, surprised about, but there's plenty of time. Probably end up catching on that, so it's, it's a good, good early season method, this two buzzers and the apps. Um, catches a lot of fish. It'll get better as the buzzers actually start to come on as well, as there's obviously been no buzzer hatches yet, because uh, it's been far too cold, but give it two or three weeks time and uh, this is a even more uh, effective method. But at least we're catching Baltic buzzer fishing. Probably looks lovely on the uh, on the camera. It looks as if it's a summer's day, but uh, believe you me, it's not. There's Ian. That 
was tiny take that absolutely minuscule of a take barely feel it but it took this time See the size of him against the fish, 14. Oh, that one took care uh, just under the surface as well. Yeah, there's a few fish in there. This one took. Ah, this one's took the apps. So all three flies have uh, caught fish now. So I'm casting towards the um, the bank over there and letting the wind just swing it, swing it round. The water uh, deepens off fairly quickly off that bank, um, so then flies are just slowly going through the layers, and then obviously they're, they're clopping the the buzzer or the apps, whichever one, and then just having it on the way down. A lot of people uh, like to fish the indicator with the buzzers on, but I prefer straight line and uh, the takes are great. I find it uh, much more exciting when you get a take when the when you're straight line and then when you're when you're watching uh, an indicator bob up and down. So just goes to show even though it's uh, March and it's freezing you don't always to have sinking lines to catch fish I mean floating line 
three flies, virtually static, take you plenty of fish. It's a nice way to fish rather than uh, pulling lures as well. And don't get us wrong, I enjoy doing all of that as well, but it's, uh, it's nice to have a change. Believe it or not, I just cast my line onto the water and I was sorting some stuff out and it's, I think it's took the apps as it went down near the margins. It hasn't took the top was I? It has, it's took the apps. It's a nice fish as well. Incredible. That was about five yards out, I saw. Nice fish, bonny fish. Lovely fish. Apps has just dropped out. Bit of a fluke that one night, like, but they all count. Oof, that took off like a rocket. Hopefully as that sun stays out, it'll warm up and then these buzzers should start catching anyway get a few more fish on them. That's a nice fish. Lovely glinting in the sun. Took the top dropper. out. Lovely. took close into the edge.
by the feel of it, it took the top buzzer coming up, coming up the slope. Could be wrong. Got my trace tangled, I know that. Tangled all my trace up. This is a mess. That's a scrap trace if I've ever seen the one. Well, we've just uh, had one lunch. It has warmed up a bit, but as you can see, there's a canny wind on here still, so, but we'll persevere this afternoon with the buzzers. We'll just try and find somewhere out of the wind and uh, see if we can winkle a few more out. But we've got to get out of this wind, like, because it's, uh, it's too bad. So, we've uh, back at it after lunch. Um, I've come to the west side of Dunny Deer Lake. Uh, the wind's still screaming, but at least on this this platform, I can get the wind on me back, and I'll uh, I'll fish the buzzers and the ups along the the edge of the margins. See if I can get uh, see if I can get a few more fish doing that way. So we'll see how it goes. It's a took as it took the buzzer as it took the apps on the point. Oh it's took the middle buzzer by the looks of it. Yeah, took the wicked right in the middle. There it is. Just hooked it, just lipped it. Bit of a boomerang that one. The second cast in this new spot. And I got a fish. Took the the middle of dropper again. Buzzer. Give it a kick.
Oh, that was a hell of a take that. That was a cracking take that. Very vicious. Some of them have been really slight takes, but that one was a stonker of a take. Nodding, I think it's took the top drop out again, but head shaking. Yeah, that's me a liar of us. Was a belter of a take that. Took the middle one again. Same one. There he is in the snout. Got the out. That's it. Fourteen. try and get it the speed I'm keeping this is the, the speed I'm retrieving the the flies I don't know if it, it'll come out on the on the camera like but basically that's it just slow as you like virtually static just keeping in touch you see the lines barely moving Dead slow. And every now and again I just give it a kick and then stop, let it drink drift back down again. There's in, crack and take again. They're coming on as it's warmed up this afternoon, they're obviously switching on to buzzers. One's <laughs> this one's took the apps and the point. So that's why it's worth having that on the point because it it takes a lot of fish, it catches a lot of fish all year round that. So it's worth having on the on your point. out in the net. Rock and take again. You kind of beat a buzz out here. Well, you can't dry fly, but it's got to be one of the best feelings in fly fishing getting a buzz out take. Take the top one again, that one.
you can see on my YouTube channel the, the, these buzzers tie these buzzers so you'll see what I'm catching on if you check if you check the, the video out it is just just in the scissors lovely straight out Want, uh, Ross Lake but to be honest it's a uh, wild there's not much shelter but we'll give it a go for a short while we might have to find uh, find somewhere a bit more comfortable but we'll give it a go we can fish along the margins anyway so there's always fish along the margins Me trace. Oh, what a mess! Dear me, so the buzzer again. I think that, that's another scrap trace. I think, yeah, there it is. And this snout again, and the hard bit though. There he's out. That's it. There you go, good. It's also weird. That is one mangle trace. Well, I've come down off uh, Ross Lake. Um, I had a fish, but the wind's terrible. You, you, you're not fishing correctly. So I've come down here. I've got about an hour left. Um, so I'll try. I've tried the arm here um, on the Chatton Lake. So we'll see if we can uh, attempt the one using the same method out of this. See how we get on. This is in the this is in the shelter and you can see how wild it is now so wind's picking up all the time. To be fair it's been an absolute brilliant day considering the conditions. Freezing cold this morning, blowing a gale. The buzzers aren't really on yet, but uh, fish have uh, fed on fed on the flies today so happy days. Like I say, this technique will only get better in the next couple of months. fish on this method on every lake now well if we land it I 
komt nu wel. Raffled up, it's tangled. It's probably tangled me trace. Oh, it has. There you go, she's in. Took the buzzer again. There it is. Just in the scissors. Top dropper. Well, that's been the three flies that's done all the damage today. Um, fished them six pound fluorocarbon leader, five, 15 foot, five uh, feet between each fly, um, apps, worm on the point, and two wicked whites uh, on the middle dropper and the top dropper. Fish static or very, very slow on a, on a floating line absolutely considering the conditions it's been brilliant day some nice fish some brilliant takes um fish this method um get get to the flies tied up um and you'll have some cracking sport in the next few months as the buzzers just even get better fantastic day well that's the day over um <laughs> been a tremendous day really fly fishing never stopped surprising me I got here this morning it was about 3 degrees freezing with screaming wind thinking oh it's, it's going to be a tough day all the lakes I was white water on the lakes and uh, I, the method I wanted to fish for the video was a floating line and two buzzers and an apps worm so I stuck with it and to be fair it's been an absolute brilliant day I've had some smashing take some lovely fish and the method obviously as you see in the video um it's worked a treat so happy days it's always there uh, you've always got to be out to catch them it's no good sitting in the house so get out there and tight lines cheers